Hello once again folks, welcome along to the channel called Fault or Overreached and today I'm going to do a fly tying video and my, the fly I'm tying today is called a cannibal killer I recently um, put a picture, a few photographs of this fly on various places on the internet and it got a huge response an awful lot of people want to know how it's tied so today I'm going to tie this fly and when I say fly it's actually a streamer pattern and um, I call it a cannibal killer the reason for that is it catches the larger cannibal trout. These are the trout in the river who very rarely, if ever, take a conventional fly. They prey on other fish, sometimes their own species even. But they eat small fish and sometimes fairly big fish as well. But in any case, I'm going to tie the fly today, so be sure to stay tuned. And um, It's not a difficult fly to tie. Um, it requires very little in the way of materials and not a whole lot in the way of skills much like a lot of the flies that I tie but it's a very very effective fly and uh, it can be fished throughout the season so here goes okay folks here we go now I'm gonna tie this fly on a size 8 hook now you can tie it bigger if you like but eight would be the smallest that I would actually tie it on I've seen it tied on a four and on a six as well but eight is the best now what I have here are these little cone heads you can buy these in most fly shops or get them online basically they're just a little metal cone and I slip that on over the hook like that and into the vise now next thing this is lead wire and um, very heavy duty lead wire and we wind on a few turns of that we need it fairly heavy and we need it to go down fairly quick so now I'm doubling back on the row of lead wire as you can see and now I'll shake it like this and it should break off it snap there it goes let's tighten that up there and there now just push that forward and then um, that's the weighted part done now the tine thread I'm using here is uni thread in uh, 8 -0. You can use 6-0, it won't make any real difference. Let's put on a bit of thread over the lead wire and tie in tight behind it here just to keep it in place. Now head back down the hook shank to just opposite the barb assuming that you're using a barbed hook now next material black marabou now you can do it in different colors but I find black to be the most effective so I pull out a bunch of the marabou like that and tie that in and just all the way up along the hook shank and back down looks a bit scruffy at the moment but that's not a big problem okay and um, my next material is this I'm not sure the proprietary name of it but basically it's just sort of, sort of sparkly it's a sparkly material I can't think of the name but I'm quite sure that someone will know so if you can think of the name of just put it in the comments there now I leave this on top of the marble and tie down and like I said it's kind of scruffy but it will tidy itself up and I'm just going to trim off those little that little bit of stuff there
Now I'm just going to build up the body a little bit. Now you could put black dubbing on to make the body, but it's not that important because when we're putting a hacker on it, which would be covering it up anyway. Oh, okay. Now, this here is a um, grizzle hackle dyed olive. Now you can also use just standard grizzle hackle, which is uh, sort of black and white, and that will do the trick also, but um, the olive color seems to be particularly attractive to the trout. So I'm just going to put out one of those. Break it off there. Now you can tie it down like that. Creating a little bulk each time we add the material to the body. And now, open turns up to the front, right behind the cone. Tie that in. Now I'm going to go back down through the hackle like that with the thread and up again which will reinforce it. Let's pull it back here out of the way now just like this. Start building up just behind the head. Now more marabou. Black marabou again. Pick out a nice bunch, pinch it off. Trim there and tie it in again. Now we're making progress. Now I'm going to trim off the hackle underneath here. That's it. And now back to our um, grizzle dyed olive hackles. And I'm going to pull out two of them. And put one on the inside here. in, trim off the waist, and we tie one on the outside, and we put them just slightly longer than the marabou. That's it. and trim the waist again. Now it's time to whip finish just behind the head and I suppose you've noticed at this point that this fly doesn't have any eyes. Now usually I'd have stick on eyes that you stick onto the head at both sides but unfortunately I had a pack of them and um, I misplaced them so I've had to innovate and uh, what I've done is I've got two little, I've cut out two little circles of white paper and I put a little black dotted biro in the middle to create the pupil and what I'm going to do now is just put a little bit of UV glue on the both sides of the head here and stick on the the, um, the made up eyes if you like 
you don't have to put eyes on it, but apparently I've dropped one now. And where has it gone? Oh, here it is. Um, apparently the eyes are a target for predators. So stick on the two eyes like that. Give them a little touch of the UV torch. That will set them in place. And then I'm going to cover them again with a bit more of the UV glue and create a slightly bigger head and make sure that the, the two eyes are stuck in place. Sometimes one has to innovate. Yeah. Might as well cut this out of the way. Now we're making progress. And another little shot of the UV torch. And that essentially is your cannibal killer. And a mighty good fly it is. And if I wet it here, you'll see what it looks like in the water. You can see the shape of it. It's a very good little bait fish pattern. And it's got a lot of movement. So that's it, folks. That's the cannibal killer. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. And if you did, um, if you'd like to subscribe, I'll be doing more videos like this in the future. And uh, thanks once again for joining me. And good day on Kea Dorella. Good day, Shif Sloan.